welcome back to the procrastinator. My name is Jan and today we are continuing our let's play of EU4 as Tunisia as the glorious, glorious Portugal, Portugal controlling nation of Tunisia. Ottomans accepted peace with Venice, Venice ceded Curfew Nexus, Naples ceded Abruzzi, and they renounced, Venice renounced their claims on Albania. France announced Austria as their new rival. We're not sieging something. Oh, this, right. That was a thing. Nobles demand all rights. Sure, we'll accept their demands. We are gonna select the army and we're going to detach 2,000 men and we're gonna send them over to the. Um, to Madeira. Castilla is continuing the the, um, the blockade there, so we should be good. Oh, did I not right click you? There we go. I know it's been a while since I, we've had an episode of um, this let's play um, instead of the other one, uh, instead of Austria, but I didn't. I've been busy. <laughs> And I had a few Austria episodes pre-recorded already and I really didn't feel like um, recording this, um, so. Portugal would cede Mejia to Tunisia. No, 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 no. We want mainland now. We want some of your mainland now, so that we can land here. Well, we, we certainly want um, the Maldives, or Madeira, rather. Yeah, if we see the English Navy anywhere, we're gonna dock as quickly as possible. Oh, costs of all the Hodges went down. We sieged Porto as well in the same meantime. Uh, since the cost of all technologies went down, we're gonna take that. We should still have some power left. And our king doesn't... Oh, our king is there. Good. So is our heir. We're okay. Silesia is now an electorate. That's interesting. There's a lot of disputed secessions in the world. How's that the relations are 4 out of 4? That union with Tripoli is quite nice. Should start annexing them eventually. Repay that loan, repay that loan, extend that loan. No. We're winning this, Portugal. Can't you see? Oh, Portugal, can't you see? We're totally winning on you. Silesia is now a vassal of Austria. Well, Austria, of course you did that. You want my provinces, still. You... We're gonna improve relations and try to get an alliance going. We need a strong ally on the mainland, especially if we're gonna take Portuguese provinces. But you guys didn't want that specific about and I'm confused and I... Yeah, we're gonna take Portuguese po provinces because, yeah. There's Portuguese patriots in Castilla in Bargang. No. No, Portugal, no. We win, we claim. We do everything. Take an island there. Of course we can. Block it over here as well, so this goes a bit faster. Still, watch out for the English fleet, should it show up. Oh, English fleet, English fleet, English fleet. And it was just their trade fleet as well. Oh no, it wasn't, it was their full fleet. Ah, we're losing fleet, we're losing fleet. Go away, go away, go away, go park yourself somewhere. We're 
gonna need to rebuild the fleet. But that's okay. No Portugal. We're winning the war. We negotiate the peace treaties. Austria moved their trade port to Holland, which is a smart idea. Which means that they can collect trade in um, Antwerp, which should bring in a lot of money. But what we want... Oh, there's a revolt in Alenteo. No, 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 no. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Yes, do whatever you want with Alenteo. Just don't let me lose my troops. Oh, well. Yeah, the English have two big ships, which is why we're, lo we're losing those battles. And they, um, Buckingham in charge. Yes, we can never have too much vampire. No, shut up, Portugal. Now we have low prestige. Our protection isn't too high either. But we do have Portugal as arrivals, so once we take their, some of their provinces, it is going to be really good for us. Taken Al Grab, we just need to take that. And. Ooh, uh, well, there may be something we can do about that. Madeira? Please, Madeira? Let's see what they would actually give us. Uh, we would, They would give us those two. Uh, I quite like Madeira out of them as well. Two mainland provinces. Not all their cash. Castile would care very much if we did that. That's the problem. So with a bunch of other people, but... You know, with Algrave on our side. Let's have them annul a few treaties. Instead, who are they allied with? Aragon. Eh, do that. And that. And I don't want a grave out of you. Really? No, not yet. We'll wait for Medeira to be taken, because I want Medeira just so that we can colonize if we want to. We can colonize if we want to. Actually, part of our army getting destroyed wasn't such a bad thing after all. Because uh, we're gonna need cannons. Although, you know what? I don't want you to annul that many treaties. Just annul treaties with no one. Don't annul any treaties. Don't give me money. And annul treaties instead. That's a much better idea. Come on. Yeah, they still control the Azores as well, which is going to be annoying. No, we need his skills. Cheaper tech, remember? Yeah, if they win that Siege of Valentheo, that's gonna be bad. Grand Captain died... Yeah, they won the Siege of Valentheo. For Christ's sake! Which means we lost a bit of points. Uh, we're not gonna take Algrave in this treaty. Take some of their money. Yeah, we're just gonna do that, and then we're gonna go into war with them again later. I think because of Soita, we can actually fabricate a claim on... Um, on uh, Algeda now, so. There we go. We save the people over here. They're still revolty about it, but we saved them. We saved you! Damn it. Yeah, and we can't do that. They're the defensive provinces, though. That's the problem. They're gonna be hard to hold. And Portugal is now no longer a valid rival for some reason. They cost... In Clemson? Algerian nationalists? Really? Portugal is no longer a very driver, and I don't understand why. Castillo or Aragon? Yeah, no. 
Actually, we can declare Aragon that I will. Aragon is fine. We need to take care of those idiots over there. Have a bunch of money. Uh, we uh, married to the Mamluks and then no, 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 no. We are technically by having two allies in. Both of them as allies, Mamluks and the Ottomans, allowing the survival of the Mamluks. Because I'm pretty sure even the Ottomans aren't stupid enough to go after the Mamluks if they have many allies. Is this over extension? Yeah, I would. But I don't see the point. Love me, Castile, love me. You don't want any of my territories again. Yay! I think, th is one of these a trade port? No. I love that Meia has the increased coding cost, but Soita doesn't. Yes, it's still so bloody expensive to core. I would like an explanation of why it's so expensive to core. I mean, I'm not complaining because it's finally some provinces that are gonna bring us money. Yeah, that wall exhaustion is killing us. Should probably create a trade fleet as well. Um, let's create a land of. Let's take that guy. Just so that our points go up a bit faster. Tunisia is not as interesting of a game as Austria is. Austria, Austria, I find Austria a lot more um, interesting. I, I, Tunisia is fun to play from a, because of a different aspect of um, being something that you normally wouldn't do, and just it, it's different. Uh, it feels different to play than um, than Austria does, because Austria becomes quite an easy thing to do eventually. Uh, where can we start integrating them? In 94, so in 5 years. Yeah, we now also have enemy of enemy. To go up to 25, and improve relations, and... Yeah, they're quite okay with us. They have a strong alliance base as well. Yeah, I don't know why they're so nationalist. <laughs> Considering they're Sunni bar Berbers. Um, that were controlled by Portugal. 20 months to core, isn't that much. We need 80 military power to... harsh treat them, which we will get soon. A loan is coming to... We could actually repay all loans. Which we will do. Oh no, raise taxes up in Constantine. Make it useful. <laughs> for change. Yeah, the, the only problem is it's it's a poor nation, so getting a big army is an issue and that that that's basically the main problem with playing as Tunisia is the fact that you can't support the large army because it's quite a poor nation. Um which is a shame. Mia is now a core. Should increase our income nicely. Accept their demands, refuse their demands. We're gonna refuse their demands. Hush three these people here. I know I probably just raised the water risk quite a bit. Yeah, I did. Why are you so revolted still? You don't have nationalism anymore. None of this does. Don't understand you people. I'm about to sneeze again. Damn it. Pineapple. Philosopher arrived in Jerba.
we are going to create a large cast bronze mortar in somewhere where it doesn't take forever. An Al Jazeer. Just a wand. Just so that we can say yes, cannons! That's basically my mingle in life. Uh, to say yes cannons as often as humanly possible. See if we can't fabricate a claim on Portugal. We can on the grab. See? Fantastic. Morocco hates us. Get a rival, they want our things. You do you still like us? Not as much as you could. So we're gonna, you know. Make you like us as much as you could. Somehow Dunkard dare manage to get two provinces. <laughs> Interesting. Does not happen every day. Yeah, we could make me a trade port. It is in the Sevilla trade node, uh, which would make us, yeah, money, because Sevilla, but we don't have enough power in Sevilla just yet. Eventually we'll move there, especially once the new world money starts kicking in, we'll move uh, things into Sevilla, but I think our next conquest is going to be Morocco. Uh, we're gonna go down the coast of Morocco and grab more Moroccan provinces. But as I said, it's quite expensive to do anything in this part of the world. Because I think all of these, yeah, they have increased calling costs. So annoying. But I wouldn't mind having Tangiers because of that important center of trade. Or, um, Zeus because of their money. We can dance if we want to. We can leave our friends behind. Cause they don't dance, and if they don't dance, what well, are no friends of mine? I'm gonna put another cannon built. Placid Castillo, yeah, that's not gonna happen. We need to increase our relations by 30, and that's not gonna happen. Ramadan! Time to feast? Ignore it! If there are any. I have any Muslim viewers. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm okay. <laughs> Ramadan, isn't Ramadan going on now? Um, I think it's quite important to um, follow at least some of your traditions or your religious traditions. And if you are participating in Ramadan, I don't know. Is there a saying for it? Good luck to you? I don't know. Probably just offended a bunch of Muslims. I'm sorry. I. I'm an idiot. Can I? I'm sorry. I'll just stop talking now. Yeah, the revolt risks should go down again. That is that water exhaustion, and you can start boosting stability up as well. We will revel in the glory of the Epic Heart. No revolt risk for a nation. We can now build a armory. Another one. We need them. How much aggressive expansion do we have with you? Not much. Nor does it matter that much. How much army does Morocco have? That's more of a important question in this case. Colum. Morocco. It's 13,000 men with 13,000 manpower. We do have claims on them, don't we? Yeah, and phase and fig, fig week. Should not pull this guy back and produce one on Tangiers as well. On Tangiers, and we can do one on Casablanca as well. We can take all of Northern part. I, whenever I'm doing this as Tunisia, I just have this insatiable need—not a need, but this insatiable urge—before every episode to just cheat in a bunch of admin power points so that we could speed up the process of taking provinces um, in Morocco um, so that we could actually annex Morocco or just you know cheat in so that we annex Morocco and then cheat in the um, 
admin points and the military points so that it can hush treat it and call it. But that's no fun. On the other hand, I, I personally get frustrated because I can't take... Um, I can't take provinces from them as quickly as I would like to. If that makes any sense whatsoever. actually hire another dude we make more than enough money now but yeah I have this urge to cheat so that we could expand our empire a bit faster on the other hand it's not really something that we should do so um, yeah I'm not gonna do it but sometimes I will do that's the only the only thing that frustrates me about playing as Tunisia um is that we can't expand as fast as we want to Castilian conquest of Valicante the episode is running a bit long. I'm, uh, the Mamelucks. Ottoman conquest of Aragog against the Ottomans. <laughs> nope. Sorry, Mamelucks. I'm. It was inevitable that we were gonna backstab you as soon as the Ottomans attacked you. I'm sorry, but it's just not gonna happen. We'll love you again as soon as we can, but yeah, just not gonna happen. <laughs> You're at war with the Ottomans as well at the moment, so maybe going to war with Morocco wouldn't be such a bad idea. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share it with your friends, and until next time, bye bye <laughs>